Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Toyota GR86. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter flat four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 31 on the highway with power outputs being 228 horsepower and then 184 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see it's raised there on either side. And I do like some of the sharp lines, it looks cool. And we've got this really cool headlight design and then notice with the Toyota logo front center and then the grille here is darker in coloration. Of course, got the GR logo as well. And then look at the venting there on the side. And putting it all together, I've always been a fan of the style here of the 86. It just has that cool sports car appearance. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 215, 40, 18 on the front and over on the rear. And you can see with the wheels, it got like a satin finish on them, which I think contrasts very nicely to the gloss paint with this particular car. See more venting there on the side and look at the bodywork here, all painted. And then here is the side view with the GR86. Now taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We also have the opening for the trunk and it's kind of like a nice weighted feel to it. Now popping to the back of the 86, you guys can see the cargo space, not the biggest, but again, this is a pretty small car. So for how small it is, it's actually pretty dang practical. And then when you're all done, just plop. And then you guys can see the duck tail spoiler here on the back end. And then I've always been a fan of the new taillight design too. I think it's pretty cool. GR86 badge. And then you guys can see the exhaust tips there at the bottom as well. And putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the looks here with the GR86. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see soft touch here at the top and then we've got some nice padding and stitching down below and then we have our window controls which are automatic and then there's a quick look at the mirrors. Now the 86 does have back seats, really nice inserts there on the seats. Um, obviously these are kind of best for storage rather than people because legroom is, yeah, not that much. Um, with the front seat, really cool bucket design as you can see. Um, you can see the inserts there in the center, nice trim here on the outside. This seat is manually adjustable and then there's a quick look at the pedals. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, I really like the overall diameter, um, but anyway, soft touch all around, GR logo here at the bottom, paddle shifters in the back for the six speed automatic. We also have stuff like adaptive cruise control with the GR86, and then you guys can see the regular stocks there on the back. Got this cool digital gauge cluster here in the center, and funny enough, we actually have a snow mode, which is kind of interesting, but the fun one is track mode, because that fully changes the look of the gauge cluster. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera, which actually lines that turn with the steering wheel. Our resolution's pretty good with it. Um, notice the analog controls on either side of the infotainment screen. Um, even though this doesn't look super modern, it responds quickly. Um, it's easy to use. And so I'd say overall, I mean, yeah, easy system. Also, I guess sport mode is now available. Just popped up with that. So <laughs> there's sport mode too. We do have dual zone climate with this. You got the rest of the controls down below. I do like the kind of finish on the buttons shifter for that six-speed automatic you got your parking brake right next to it all of the drive mode select and traction control select buttons right here heated seats got some storage there and then center console got some more cup holders and nice padding here on the top and then speaking of storage pretty big glove box for a small car um, and then soft touch here on the dash and then you can see more of the Alcantara there now taking a look at the window sticker here you guys can see all of the standard equipment Base MSRP 32,500, total MSRP 33,973, and do, 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 do. let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors. Well, there's the other one. <laughs> there, there is the rear. And, well, let us set off in the 86. So, 
I actually had a chance to live with one of these for the week. Uh, it was a manual though, which was a bit more exciting than this automatic, but you know, the automatic still gotta give it some love. Pop it into sport mode right off the bat. So the difference between sport and track mode, seems like it's more about the traction than anything else. You know, how many of the uh, computers are turned on. Good torque. That's one of the big benefits of this new four cylinder is it's very torquey. Now the automatic transmission, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty good overall. Um, it's not as good as the manual, obviously. That's what everyone wants with this is the manual, but. You can see it smooth of the shifts. I wouldn't necessarily call it quick, but it's, it's smooth. This is one of those cars, honestly, I've, I've always, I've always wondered why it even has, <laughs> why it even has an automatic, but. You know, at the same time, there's obviously people that want this car, but they, you know, can't drive a manual. But we'll see what the acceleration is like here in just a moment. Um, other stuff, seats are pretty comfortable. They got some nice bolsters on the side. So kind of a little bit of a tighter feel, but pretty good overall. Got so much torque. That's the one thing I do like about this new powertrain compared to the previous. Yeah, this 2.4 is just really torquey. And then handling with this, it's, it's really good, it's sharp. Um, compared to like the one car that a lot of people compare this to is the Miata. Compared to the Miata, this is definitely more serious, I guess maybe you could say. It just, the Miata's got a ton of body roll. This doesn't. This is just more on, on uh, it's like, it's on, more on rails, I guess is what you could say. So it just, it's a little bit of a sharper car. So it's, it's more, this, this car, like you want to drive it fast. You don't like with the Miata, you don't care how fast you're going. It's like, it feels, it always feels fun. This, it's like, you want to, you want to push the car a little bit more. You want to push the tires to the edge, all that kind of stuff. So it's just a little bit of a different experience. But let me know you guys think about the 86. Um, I love the car. I'm still team manual, but let me know if you guys are team automatic or uh, team manual. And by the way, I have met a bunch of people that are team automatic. So we're not gonna pretend like there's nobody out there because there's some people that, again, they genuinely do, you know, they, they'd rather have the automatic uh, transmission with this. But yeah, let me know your thoughts.